We have a thin crescent moon, uh, only about three days away from uh, new moon that uh, we're going to be looking at with the CPC. And just to show you how easily it is to uh, operate, we've decided to set it out here on a beautiful fall afternoon and uh, get it fired up so that we can see how it works. There was a beautiful conjunction of the moon with uh, Venus this morning in the morning sky before the sun came up. But that means that during the daytime we can also find uh, the moon and use the scope to align on that and then hopefully swing over to have a view of Venus as well. So the first thing we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll just fire up the, uh, the scope here by turning the uh, uh, switch on and uh, the light comes on and then we can see here on the uh, uh, display on the hand controller it asks us to uh, go ahead and press the enter to begin. Uh, the GPS hooked up very quickly so we've got now our, uh, our correct date and time and location and we'll enter that and choose the moon as our object that we want to uh, use for doing our alignment. So uh, once we've got that done, a uh, very simple process to click over and uh, set it up on the moon. So now we have the uh, CPC set up and uh, aligned with the moon so it's tracking the, the moon. Very thin crescent moon. We'll uh, attempt to take a picture here shortly through the telescope so you can see what uh, that we're looking at in the middle of the afternoon here. And on the hand controller, if we press the planet key and then scroll up uh, to uh, Venus, it shouldn't have to travel too far. So we've got Venus there on the hand controller. We press the enter key and uh, the scope just automatically moves. Not very far because Venus and the moon this afternoon are very, very close uh, to each other. So uh, there we pretty much have it. It's uh, doing the, just the fine alignment to, uh, to Venus. And you'll see on the hand controller it says Venus now. What we can do is press the uh, info key down here and uh, there will display some information about Venus then on the hand controller. So uh, we're now tracking Venus and uh, I'll attach a camera here shortly and we'll be able to show you a picture of uh, what we were able to see in the eyepiece of Venus as well as the Moon. So here's our setup with the camera attached to uh, the CPC. And uh, go down there, press the Enter key, and uh, you see the scope having to move a very, very short distance to be able to get Venus. And here's the picture that we have of Venus. Here's the CPC nine and a quarter inch, also focused uh, at Venus this afternoon on the nice warm summer afternoon where we've been able to find both Venus and the moon in the afternoon sky. And attached to the uh, uh, CPC 925 is the Canon 60DA camera. We're being able to snap a few pictures with that. And uh, again, if we go back over to the hand controller and we want to uh, choose the moon instead, we'll just uh, select the moon under the planet key, scroll to where it is, hit the enter key, and then just uh, the scope will move over very slightly because the two are close together in the sky and uh, able to point at the moon. And we can take some pictures through this scope as well. 